And so when we got here as actual writers, you know, thrilled to be writers, we, we looked around and we're like, wait, you guys, you guys don't realize how important you are? Do you realize the impact that you have? And the resounding answer we often got was no, they, they didn't realize. So a lot of it at first was just us like telling people on our teams, like, no, you don't understand. I would visit clients and they literally print out your docs and put it up on the wall. Um, you know, or they have things bookmarked or like all these stories and people don't realize the impact that they're making. We did. And that's why we came to this role. And a lot of times this is where documentation, that's where we can have a competitive edge in the sales cycle because that shows customers that Salesforce knows what they're talking about. They also have it in the documentation. It's already fully documented. And then that makes a buyer a little bit uh, less you know, worried about that okay, what they say can do it, it can actually do it. So it's, it's very integral to the actual whole selling process because that's what customers look at, to make sure that, again, we are, following, we're, we are checking the boxes to, to make sure that the documentation does exactly, or the, the team that's trying to sell it and the documentation is, is transparent and also connected that. And so I come at writing from, a like how do we how do we make it uh so that a customer can look at something and be like oh that's what's that's what's going on that's what i did wrong or not necessarily that's what i did wrong but that's how i can improve what i've built um and so joining the the cx team has kind of been a dream job for me because i i've always been writing but it's always been very reactive like okay something has gone horribly wrong and now i get to be in the position of okay how do we prevent stuff from going horribly wrong <laughs> But it's also it's also given me a lot of insight into like why having use case driven documentation with clear technical limitations, because those are the kind of questions people have when they get into the weeds. They're like, well, can we do this? I don't know. I think that's what binds us together, Stan, is um, our how our experience with how valuable content can be um, from the outside, whether it was in building in sales or with support like we saw the value in in the content that people use um so a part of this presentation and talking about it is for writers to understand the impact that they make and um we were even more flabbergasted when the leadership up said it was news to them and we were like <laughs> excuse me like and the vp of solution engineering steve brown said our Salesforce help is awesome and critical to our success in a number of sales cycles. Explaining the why behind the features is also key.